Hi, Steve Stenrose, First Choice Inspections, with another Inspection Minute. I'm at a San Diego home inspection, and I'm looking at the water heater installation. It's at the rear of the house, rear exterior of the house, just off the deck. And you can see it's been installed inside of a storage, a metal storage cabinet. This protects it from the elements. And let's move in here and take a look at a few issues with this water heater. As you can see, this water he heater sits down in below the deck level. And actually, there's a, there's a patio off to the left side of the water heater. And this sits down in a, a cubby hole down in here. Uh, this is prone to uh, moisture deterioration. Uh, the water heater itself should sit on a pad three inches above the surface grade. You can see there is no uh, pad installed under this water heater. Then let's come up here and look at the uh, flexible gas connector. This gas connector has excessive length. This is a four foot long gas connector. The maximum allowable for a water heater is 36 inches. So this does not meet industry standards. And then let's look at the um, TPR valve on the water heater. This is the temperature and pressure relief valve. It's a safety valve in case the water heater malfunctions. Hot water at high um, pressure will come out of this discharge line that's installed on it. This discharge line should terminate within 6 to 24 inches of the ground. Uh, this is about three feet off the ground, so the discharge line for the TPR valve needs to be extended. That's a safety hazard. And then let's come up to the top. This is the flue for the water heater. And uh-oh, that's not going to work too well, is it? So the flue is disconnected. Uh, obviously this is quite easy to see, but it's something you would definitely want to have repaired before use. Uh, 